Britain's hospitality to the 2,000 UNO visitors includes WVS hostesses. They're ready and able to fix the delegates up with anything from afternoon tea to an afternoon at the dogs. With men and women of 51 nations on the books, this is a good place to brush up on your foreign languages. A world name for London, this great assembly of delegates of the United Nations. We realize, as perhaps never before, a choice is offered to mankind. We must, we will succeed. From Syria to Iraq, from the Central African Republic to South Sudan, we are witnessing deepening and deeply destructive conflicts. Over the next 12 months, the international community must find the means and the ways to tackle poverty, safeguard the human rights, and address climate change. In our world, national and international interests have converged. From food prices to job creation, Local issues increasingly require global action. The United Nations is on the front line, responding to these challenges and helping to forge solutions. But at this time, when global cooperation is crucial, too many are turning inwards, and too often against each other. All of you can advance our common agenda by demanding more from your leaders and your United Nations. This UN Forum can help you raise your voices for action. For the past 70 years, UNA-UK has been an essential bridge between the UN and the people in the United Kingdom. We welcome your constructive criticisms and your invaluable support for our mission to build a safer, more peaceful, and more sustainable world. I send my best wishes for your success, and I count on all of you to engage with the United Nations at this forum and beyond. We live in a networked world in which our interests and our well-being are becoming more closely connected to those of other countries and more affected by events far from our own shores. Foreign policy is essential to addressing issues that matter to us all. It should feature prominently in public debate and it benefits from new ideas and energy so the United Nations Association has my strong support as you launch a year of public discussions on global issues. This will be a vital opportunity for politicians, experts, campaigners, and the British public to have frank conversations about the challenges and opportunities facing the UK and the world, and about what we can do through our foreign policy to advance our interests, strengthen peace and security, and improve the condition of humanity. More than 35 years ago, membership of the United Nations Association gave me my first taste of international politics. And I hope many young people will be inspired to become more deeply involved in foreign policy as a result of this valuable initiative. I hope you enjoy this event and the many others ahead. Thank you.